Welcome back here with Dr. Jen Bundy again. And just before, just to reiterate, we're talking about pet obesity and the problems that it causes. Right. Those and you know, 55% of cats are of pets, dogs and cats are right. overweight. Wow. So this is a rampant problem, and it does cause a lot of health problems: diabetes, uh, decreased life expectancy. Mm -hmm. It can take two even to four cancers. years off your pets, even cancer. Wow. And yeah. it's amazing. And you know, there's obviously some sort of correlation between how we eat, right, and how we're going to feed our pets as well. Right. So we have some examples here. Yeah, we do. And Those we're, we're going to compare, you know, because because you think to yourself, hey, what's one chip right. to my dog? What's one chip to my cat? Right. It's a lot. It's half a cheeseburger and or half a Hershey's bar. Wow. That adds up. Who, That's who gives says. their pet only one chip? You know, One potato chip for a 10-pound cat. Yeah, it really That's adds amazing. up. It really adds up. One ounce of cheese to a cat uh -huh. is... Three and a half oh, oh my cheeseburgers, three and a half, or four wow. Hershey's bars. That is insane. All for one little ounce for of cheese. One little piece of cheese. And it's so easy to do. You know, you have holidays. It's, oh, yeah. You know, everybody's feeling a little generous, giving a little more food. The dog yeah. comes in or the cat comes in. Yeah. You know, this is what so it equals. <laughs> it, it's, you know, so it's not just a simple, oh, one little chip or one little piece of cheese. No, it adds up really, really fast. Right. One ounce of cheese <clears throat> for a dog is two and a half cheeseburgers or two chocolate bars to us. Wow. So, so you can see how, how this really right. adds up quickly. Um, one hot dog, one hot dog is the same as three cheeseburgers. We're, we're kind of doing... And that's doing, really easy. Grilling out, giving your oh yeah. dog a hot dog. What's a hot dog? You know, we even we even yeah. tell people, um, hey, you know, you have to give your pet a pill. Just right. put it in a little piece of a hot dog. Right. But one little piece of a hot dog quickly turns into one hot dog, which mm -hmm. can turn into two and three. Amazing. So, so this is what I mean. This is really serious, and it people serious. don't realize um, until you actually look at it and see what what the food equals Definitely, to them. Yeah, it puts things in the perspective. And it really does. Now, what if we take all of this? If we take all of this food and we have five cheeseburgers here, we have five candy bars, uh -huh. this equals only a cup of milk to a cat. So nobody would think that, you know, giving no, your pet a cup of milk is a bad thing. Um, I have a lot of clients that do that, but it equals five cheeseburgers or five candy bars. So no milk, no cheese, no right. potato chips, no people food no. at all. <laughs> no if people you're, food. If you're going to switch to a people food, you know, use um, apples, use carrots, use green right. beans. These are all things that are healthy for them, right. and they can have pretty much as much as they want of but stay away from all of these foods that are, if they're fattening to us, they're fattening to your pet. Exactly. So yeah. basically, you know, keep yourself healthy. Also, you're keeping your pet healthy because you're going to give your pet, you know, snacks that you're having sometimes. Right, so. right. Ice cream, little here, a little there. Yeah. Don't do it. No, not at all. And it definitely not chocolate, especially with dogs, right? You do not. No, no. This, is, this is the equivalent. It would be like us having four or five chocolate bars. So right. definitely stay away from chocolate. Very interesting. All right. Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Thank you.